She's won more than 500 matches in her illustrious coaching career. But after 29 years patrolling the volleyball courts at BGSU, Denise Vandewally has decided to retire. After the season, Denise will move home to Indiana to take care of her mom. But tonight, the all-time winningest volleyball coach in MAC history is at the house as we go one-on-one. -on -one. You're a legend, Denise. Uh, thanks for being here tonight. This is uh, this is wonderful. 29 years at Bowling Green, and you're deciding that this will be your last season. You've won over 500 matches. You're the all-time winningest volleyball coach in the Mid-American Conference. So wh why now? Well, you know, a lot was going on at home with my mom. My dad passed away a couple years ago, and things have been tough mm -hmm. for her. She lives alone, doesn't drive, and just a lot of personal things going on. She had to move out of her home, and, and so it just seemed like it was the right thing for me to do to go back to South Bend and kind of take care of her, live with her, and that. So it was, it was the timing was just perfect. That's, that's special. That, that's, that's a really neat, neat thing. You started, you, you told me in a little commercial break that you were actually from Indiana. You went to school at Ball State. You got your start here. 29, almost 30 years yeah. ago. Tell us briefly how that came about because it's a wonderful story. It's a crazy story, I know. When I was telling you, I, I'm almost embarrassed at how it went. I've talked to many classes, Joe, and I've said if you ever don't want to get a job, just do what I did. Jack Gregory was a wonderful athletic director. He pursued me. I was an assistant at Ball State. And to make a long story short, I met with him he offered me the position. I said I needed some time to think about it. But what he didn't know is I was going to take almost forever to think about it. I took two weeks as I was preparing to go overseas with Athletes in Action, and I didn't call him. I was afraid to be a head coach, so I just I kind of dropped it. One day after a training session at Colorado State, the dorm I was staying in, there was a note to call Jack Gregory. So, I mean, it all had to happen very fast because he found me, and I still to this day don't know how he found me. But I called him up, and, and I said, yes, I'd take it, and he was thrilled. After all these years, uh, what are some of your proudest moments? It, it's the people that I've been around. You know, I think of all the players that I've coached and I'm coaching now, so a 29-year history of all different kinds of kids that I've coached and assistants that I've worked with and coaches in the conference and and just the personnel that's you know been at Bowling Green you just can't replace people you know I'm a people person and so I I just love you know all the people that I've met over the 29 year career that I've had and of course one of I, I say this all the time my probably the the, my most favorite moment in Anderson Arena was winning the first MAC championship in 1989 because it had never been done. Bowling Green had never won a MAC championship, and Western Michigan was so good. And I was good friends with the head coach, Rob Buck, and I used to kid him every year that we played. I'd say, Rob, if anybody's going to beat you, it's going to be me. And we would just <laughs> laugh. And, you know, we weren't very good at the time, so it was, it was really a joke every time I said that. And then in 89, it all came true. We put it together and, and beat Western in three. A lot of memories in Anderson Arena. Now you're in a brand new Stroh Center. I was down there last week for practice. It is so nice. Well, what about that, coaching your last year in a palace like that? It's going to be hard to say goodbye once you, once, you, know, you see that Stroh Center. Anyone, right now, anyone that's come in it has walked away saying, boy, that is just one of the best places probably in the country to be. I mean, it, it's certainly one of the finest facilities in our conference. But our players love it. The gym is great, the practice gym. I mean, you mentioned the locker room. It's twice as big as what we had before. And just, the, you know, the coaches' offices, everything being brand new, TVs, everything's great. It's a wonderful, wonderful place. How have you maintained 29 seasons being at the top of your really profession. I mean, the all-time winning is coach. To be honest, I don't think it's me. I just really think the Lord has blessed me 100-fold. Because, you know, I've thought about that, especially as I'm winding down. Boy, people just don't stay in one place as long as I have. It's a, it's a rarity mm -hmm. anymore. And I just really feel like, you know, God's had me in Bowling Green for, you know, 29 years for a reason. And when you ask me if it gets harder or easier, I, I think it's hard. I mean, recruiting's hard. Staying on top is hard. I, it hasn't gotten easier, and you'd think maybe it would the longer I'm doing this, but, you know, kids change, the, the recruiting practices change, the rules change, and you do. You have to be on top of your game. So it's, it's difficult to recruit right now. 
now. Are there going to be tears uh, as the season goes on? Or oh. I'm sure there already probably has been. I, I know when I told the team last April, it was one of the toughest things that I did. It was very emotional for me, very emotional for them. Lots of tears. I had one of my former um, players come in the gym the other day, Stephanie Swiger, who, you mm -hmm. know, just it was a wonderful player for us. And, and even in the MAC, did some great things. But she came in and she was just talking, and all of a sudden, I found myself tearing up as, as she was talking about when your last match what are we gonna do we got to have a party you know all of this and I started tearing up and she took me and she goes oh don't start crying now it's just I know I will because this has been you know so much a part of my life and so it's gonna change dramatically when I leave here because it's not like I'm gonna be staying in Bowling Green being a part of the community I'm actually gonna be leaving and going to South Bend so my life's gonna change tremendously. Well, I'll tell you what, I've been in Toledo for 12 years and it's been a pleasure working with you. I'm going to miss you. I know the, in, the entire, you know, community is going to miss you. I'm a people person, so we'll be in touch. Well, thanks, Denise. I appreciate you coming in tonight. Thank you.